our uh, great grandmothers and grandmothers, we welcome you to our kindergarten graduation. What a wonderful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad of it because guess what? This is just one step towards your child's future as they journey on through their education. This is an important day, won't you say? And this is a day we must remember. So I say to you, thank you parents, and thank you all the friends and loved ones who are here today. I'm sure our students will be so happy to see you all. So you not need worry, okay? So sit back, relax, and stay seated while our kindergarten students make their way toward their end of graduation. Let's give them a round of applause. National anthems, the pledges. We will begin first with our pledge to the Bible. Let us begin. Please put your right hand over your left chest. I pledge my allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet. I can hear you. Light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. And I will pledge to the flag. Come right out in the center so we can see the flag. And together we will recite our pledge to the flag. I pledge my allegiance to the flag and to the commonwealth of the Bahamas for which it stands, one people united in love and service. Okay, let's put our hands to our sides as we sing our national anthem.
be seated. Boys and girls, you may be seated as well. Ladies and gentlemen, kindergarten students, teachers, and friends, I'd like to invite our vice principal to the podium. But before she comes, I want us to please give our vice principal a big applause. She has been the the wind beneath my wings as we charted this course to Genesis Academy. And this is our 17th kindergarten graduation. Would you believe it? 17. And she has been leading our kindergarten section, preschool section, for the 17 years. And we have had nothing but stellar results. And so I have to give kudos to my partner and my best friend, Beryl Knowles, for doing such an awesome job. And she never failed at what she has done. She's been part of the So I call on you, my dear friend and my vice principal, as you welcome our parents today. graduation. There's something special about kindergarten graduations. Great minds are shaped, foundations are solidified, journeys are beginning, and dreams are waiting yet to be achieved. Boys and girls, you will move into a new year, a new journey to the big school, the elementary school. In this dynamic journey, you have experienced tremendous growth, and development in kindergarten. You have all worked very hard to learn new things every day. You have played hard, you have made new friends, and you, you have all tried to be good friends as well. Well done, done and congratulations to each and every one of you. You should feel very proud of yourselves for all that you've achieved this year. Today, as we pay tribute to you, we want you to know how incredibly proud we are of you. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> the administration expresses a heartfelt thank you to our teachers who have instructed you in knowledge and wisdom. To you, our parents, we appreciate your undeniable dedication and support all the way. Welcome again to Genesis Academy's 2023 Kindergarten Graduation Ceremony, the place where great minds begin. We're going to call one of our graduates now, Ayanna Knowles, to come up and do our opening prayer. Next, 
First off, we'd like to share with you um, the years in review through the entire um, preschool of your child. We have pictures all the way from birth right up to K-5. There's video of K-5. Lights off, please.
so much. A special thank you to Mr. Kyle Ferguson who compiled this wonderful video for us. Okay, up next is a very special shrimp parents. I hope you're ready. They've been practicing and practicing and now they're going to come with a special dance. Um, the song they're going to dance to is called Big School. And it is sung by Mrs. E Miss Imana Fonseca. Are you here, Miss Fonseca? Okay, I guess she couldn't make it, but she's one of our high school teachers. All right, Miss Feet.
and Ms. Storm, who taught them in K-4. We have Ms. Polly, who is the assistant to Ms. Pete in K-5, and they have done an awesome job. And we want to especially give Ms. Pete can stand and say that they have not received nothing other than par excellence yes. from this. So let's please encourage our teachers. You know, our job is a very hard one. Let me, parents, parents, and, and, and I'm saying this, I say it soft, but I'm going to say it hard now. Our job is a very hard one yes. because we are dealing with very active children. We are dealing with children who have their own mind. Yes. And we, one teacher or an assistant, have to each day shape their minds and help them in the right direction. And you being a parent, you know that's not an easy job. So think of a teacher who has multiple personalities to deal with each day. And I think we need to give our teachers a kudos because teaching and especially in this day and age is even harder. So we need your support. Thank you. Thank you teachers for a job well done. Okay, coming up next, K-5 will share with us some of the things they learned this year. And I'm sure you will enjoy. K-5?
give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive a pair of sun and shall call his name. Shall call his name.
right, so we're going to begin with Brady Cruz Wahi. Yeah. Brady received honorable mention in the following subjects for achieving a 90% or higher. They are Bible, phonics, math, science, health and social studies, reading comprehension, art and crafts, and physical education. Brady also receives a trophy for finding your voice, along with his kindergarten promotion. Let's give it up for Brady. Next up, we have Dave Harcourt, Franklin Bossfield. Physical education. He also received the promotion trophy. Let's give it up for Dave. <laughs> Next up, we have Owen Alexander Cash. <laughs> Owen received honorable mention in. Creative writing, handwriting, reading comprehension, arts and craft, Bible, science, health and social studies, math and phonics, Spanish and physical education. Owen also received the Kindergarten Promotion Award. Let's give it up for Owen! Up next we have my team, my team. My team is honorable mention in creative writing, arts and crafts, Bible, science, health, and social studies, and also physical education. He receives the kindergarten promotion trophy. Benjamin Nixon. Benjamin received honorable mention 
in creative writing, needed comprehension, arts and craft, Bible, science, health and social studies, phonics, Spanish, and physical education. I want you guys to know that Benjamin is a newbie here at Genesis and he blended right in. So therefore, he received the trophy for leaps and bounds because he's made leaps and bounds since he came here. I'm so proud of him. Next up, we have Edward Shiloh Thurston. Also Shiloh receives honorable mention in arts and craft, Bible, science, math, phonics, and PE, physical education by He was doing the thing about the promotion trophy. Way to go, Shiloh. Good job. Next up, we have Gabriella Trico. Gabriella receives honorable mention in creative writing. Arts and Craft, Bible, Science, Health and Social Studies, Spanish and Physical Education. She also receives the Kindergarten Promotion Trophy. Way to go, Gabby.
trying my hands to describe because not only did I teach these children in K5, I also taught them in K3. Yeah. So this is such an emotional roller coaster for me. I'm trying my hardest to keep the waterworks behind, to keep the makeup on, though, with all the okay. So next up, we have Mr. Landon Blaze. <laughs> graduation class, this graduating class before you, every child you place into your hands, oh God. You said whatever we commit into your hands that you will keep it. And so we thank you, Father God, that no pestilence will come nigh them, neither shall any plague come nigh their dwelling. We thank you, Father God, that you are blessing them indeed. We thank you, Father, even as they depart uh, throughout the summer break, Lord, that you would guide them and you would direct them. God, we ask that you protect their little eyes and their little air gates, God. Even as Satan tries, Lord God, to place things in the music and place things in the television, Father, we thank you, Lord, that you would protect them and you would keep them. Thank you for every parent. We ask that you would help us, Lord, to be more vigilant in what, we, what our children do. We pray, Father God, that we would be more patient with them, that we would understand and remember, Father God, that they, these children are sponges, 
and Father, they look and they see what we do and how we act. And so help us, Lord, to live a life that is pleasing to you. We thank you, Father God, for the parents and administrators. We ask, Lord, for a special blessing on them from the custodian straight to the principal, God. May you bless them indeed. Thank you, Father God, for these little ones. Thank you for blessing them. May they remember friendships and remember to be kind to one another and remember to share, remember to love unconditionally, even as you did, Lord Jesus. And in this, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our ceremony to an end. Let's give our K5 class a round of applause. We just want to say thank you for entrusting your beautiful children in our care. We're going to miss them terribly, and I'm not going to say another word before I go. <laughs> You may have a pleasant day, and refreshments are also available for you at the rear of the room. And you can feel free to come and take pictures at a beautiful backdrop. Have a great day. Oh, my.